Hey there YouTube, today I'm going to talk about the staccato. So, uh, if you guys have been paying attention to the channel, over the last few months, I think about four months, I've gone through the process of ordering a couple of these pistols, first the XC, and then later on the staccato P, shooting them, getting a belt set up, training with them, teaching with these guns in classes, and you know, it was it was a good experience. I'm not gonna lie, it was a good experience to uh, kind of explore this uh, this brand of guns, these uh, these 2011s marketed to cops, that kind of thing. Is great. It was a lot of fun to to get these guns and talk about them, and you know, even more fun to do it online uh, to kind of explore these things from all sorts of different angles. Good example, I liked getting videos of my friends shooting these things and be like, hey man, just give me your, your reaction. Um, if you guys are on Instagram and follow that stuff, you might remember, I think last month, put out a video with Joel shooting the, the XC and he's like, ah, you know, that thing's stupid. It, it's like ridiculously easy. I don't want it. It's going to soften me up, you know. Not the gun I want to train with. Another one of my friends put a video up uh, last week with him shooting the XC, and he's like, oh, man, this is great. This is totally worth it. And I think it's fine to entertain both of those opinions and other opinions as well. You know what I mean? Like, I really enjoyed it. Now, I've gone through this process a, a bunch of times where it's get a, get a gun, a, a different platform, what do I got laying around here? Hey, here we go. PDP. Good example. Gone through the process with this as well, where I get the gun, get a belt set up, start training with it a little bit, you know, shoot it, learn what I can. Like, oh, what are kind of the little nuances of this gun and that kind of thing. And the more I shoot it, the more I learn. And that's been what's what's going on with the uh, with the staccatos. I've really enjoyed it. Unfortunately. It's time to get back on the Glocks for a while. I'm going on a long a long trip, like a month. And then when I get back from that, looking at what comes up next in the calendar, it's like, yep, another, you know, another few gigs. I'll, I'll be using the Glocks for that, that kind of thing. Looking at my schedule, I'm going to be hanging up the Staccatos for quite a while. It looks like a few months. Um, how do I feel about that? Well, I like shooting the Glocks. It'll be nice to get back to the Glocks. I'm very familiar with those, comfortable with them even. Um, but I'm not going to lie. It's, uh, it's, it was good shooting the Staccatos and I'll miss, I'll miss having them around a little bit. Maybe when I come back to them, you know, I'll get, I'll get something else out of it. I don't know. I'll get a fresh look at it. I think the way my schedule lays out now, like September, I'll maybe come back to the Staccatos and do a training cycle on them. Otherwise, I'm not going to be shooting them that much, it looks like, for the rest of the summer. And, you know, I have a little bit of mixed feelings about that, so I guess that's a good thing. It, I got I got a lot out of the training with them, and I'm looking forward to coming back to them when I do. Yeah, that's it. That's pretty much all I've got. 